Trade-ups. What are they? Trade-ups let you take 10 items of one grade and exchange them for one item of the sequentially higher grade. All 10 items must be either strange or non-strange. You can't mix the two together. 10 strange items would give you a strange item. 10 non-strange items would give you a non-strange item. Unusuals of any kind cannot be used in trade-ups, nor can unique, strange, vintage, genuine items, etc., since these don't have an item grade. Also, all items must have another item to trade up to in their respective collections. Otherwise, they can't be used. Aside from these restrictions, you can mix and match cosmetics, decorated weapons, and war paints to your heart's content. So, how do trade-ups work? Navigate to an item in your backpack that you want to trade up. Right-click on it and select Item Grade Trade-Up. Select the items you want to use, mail it in, apply the stamp, draw a cock, and Bob's your uncle. <laughs> and now for the most important question. What can you get from a trade-up? A trade-up will only return an item from the collections used. For example, if you use 10 items from one collection, you'll receive an item from the same collection. The odds of what you get specifically are equally divided between the possible outcomes in the sequentially higher item grade, like so. If you decide to mix multiple item collections together, the outcome odds get more complex. Say you put in 3 items from collection A and 7 items from collection B. That's a 30% chance for an item in collection A and a 70% chance for an item in collection B. That 30% and 70% are then further divided by the number of possible outcomes for each collection, like the previous example. If you are using decorated weapons or war paints, you also need to take the wear of those items into account. Unlike CSGO, the wares of TF2 skins aren't averaged out using a complex formula. For example, say you put in 4 field tested skins from Collection C and 6 factory new skins from Collection D. The outcome odds would be a 40% chance at a field tested skin from Collection C and a 60% chance at a factory new skin from Collection D. You would not receive, for example, a factory new skin from Collection C or a field tested skin from Collection D. The wares of the skins are locked to their respective collections. Also, you can use redeemed war paints in trade ups. If the trade ups output lands on that war paints collection, you would just receive a new unused war paint and not a random weapon with the war paint already applied. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to trade-ups. But let's go through one more example to bring everything together. Let's say you're performing a commando grade to assassin grade trade-up, and you decide to put in three field-tested, decorated weapons from the Warbird collection, two factory new decorated weapons from the Warbird collection, one cosmetic item from the Spooky Spoils collection, two unused battle scarred war paints from the jungle jackpot collection one used minimal wear war paint from the jungle jackpot collection and one factory new decorated weapon from the pyro land collection here are all of the possible outcomes for this trade-up and as you can clearly see the more you mix and match the more complex the outcome odds get there's one more thing I forgot to mention. You can also trade up to a civilian grade stat clock. This is an item that turns any civilian grade item into a strange one. You can craft a stat clock using any five items that are freelance grade or higher, as well as regular strange items for some reason. To craft one, right click on a valid item, select civilian grade stat clock, pick your other items, mail it in, draw another cock, and there you go. Strange civilian grade skins can then be traded up for strange freelance grade skins, and so on and so forth. This process of applying stat clocks to civilian grade skins and trading them up lets you get higher grade strange skins from contract completion collections, which were never dropped in strange quality. It's the only way to get them. Initially, I wasn't going to make this video, for a couple of reasons. One, this video is redundant. All of its information can be found in Steam Community Guides, all of which are easily accessible with just a quick Google search. But I figured some of you might want to consume this information in video format, and many have asked for it, so here you go. 
And two, I don't like promoting gambling, especially in a video game whose audience is partially comprised by younger players. Trade-ups do provide this semi-controlled way to get the items you want, but you are still at the mercy of what is essentially a dice roll. Trade-ups aren't much better than opening cases or crates. They all exploit that system that Valve is made of building hype behind artificial rarity to entice players into testing their luck. Whoa, elite grade! Whoa, assassin grade! Unusual, strange as whoa, bright, shiny colors! Hey, you never know! Try it out! You might get it at a 0.00001% chance! <laughs> Give it a whirl! Don't, don't fall for it. It's just another gimmick that Valve uses to milk more money out of your wallet. If you want a specific item, you are always better off just buying it. Rather than one, trying to unbox the item, god forbid, or two, trading up to it. Because both options will likely cost more than the item itself, and neither guarantee that you'll get the item you want. In my opinion, there is only one justifiable reason for completing trade-ups, and that's to get your hands on a strange stat clock. You can get a strange stat clock so you can get a cheap strange, instead of going for a more expensive option. I'd rather spend 80 to 90 cents on that stat clock and on the civilian grade war paint to get a strange weapon I don't have, instead of spending 2, 10, 20 dollars or more. And yeah, that's about it. I hope this video was useful for you, and provided at least some perspective on that artificial rarity system that Valve uses in trade-ups and unboxing cases or crates to kind of entice us to spend more money, and a lot of people do it. Yeah. If you happen to have any more questions about skins or trade-ups, feel free to leave a comment below, and I'll try to answer as many of them as I can. Alright, fuck it. One more for the road.